Hi viewers, welcome back to Siri Algorithms YouTube channel. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, I am going to explain about the non-primitive data structure tuple. So, properties, functions, operations and methods. So, let me open the Jupyter Notebook. So please wait. Environment is loading. So first we see the properties of the tuple. Tuple is immutable. That means once you define the elements inside of the tuple, we not allow to change it until unless we change the data structure. And tuple is always represented in the parenthesis. It is ordered means which order you arrange the elements the same order follows. So we can do the indexing and slicing. So let me show you the code. So tuple. First check the how to create an empty tuple. So tap one is equal to just parenthesis here. Just check the type print of type of tap one. You can see here class is tuple. Next. So tuple is ordered. So you can take some elements here 10, 20, 30, Python. So tuple is also a collection of elements. It contains multiple data types. So you can give like a float value. So now you can go to print of tap one. So you can see which order you arrange the elements, the same order follows. Next, next functions. What functions are there? So let me take uh, one example here. Yeah. Take this one. So functions, uh, I'm going to, if you want to count how many elements are there, then go to len of, len of tap one. You can see there are three elements are there. Print of uh, maximum value, which is the maximum value here in the top one that is 30 you can see the you can write the minimum all functions work you can see minimum 10 and you can check the what is the summation value you can write the sum and uh, print of max of we have directly don't have the mean so you can write the formula sum of top one divided by len of top one you can see it 20 is the average value 